Esta tarde tuve la oportunidad de platicar con la doctora Jill Biden, la primera dama de los Estados Unidos, quien encabeza la delegación de alto nivel enviada por ese país para la toma de posesión de Claudia Sheinbaum. Como maestra, durante más de 30 años, la doctora Biden ha dedicado gran parte de su tiempo en la Casa Blanca al tema de la educación y también a la lucha contra el cáncer. Sobre estos y otros temas, hablamos hoy en la Colonia Roma, en el restaurante Rosetta, aquí en la Ciudad de México. How are you? Thank you so much. Welcome back to Mexico. I'm Enrique Acevedo. Nice to meet you. This is Chef Regadas. In Mexico, the kitchen table is where we celebrate, mourn, where we share our, yeah. our you know, heartfelt moments and, and stories. It's really at the heart of our family connections. Uh -huh. I'm wondering how your family has supported and influenced you through all these years of public service and especially in the last couple of months? Well, our kitchen table too is just like that, where we all gather and usually every Sunday, um, you know, the whole family gets together and I cook and uh, I'm uh, Italian and so I cook a lot of Italian meals, a lot of homemade pasta and uh, so it's just like you say. We like home. sit and we argue and we laugh and, and we cry. And, uh, but it's being together, the family, right? Mm -hmm. Like Joe said, the beginning, middle, and end of everything. This is Hoja Santa. I love how mm -hmm. it comes. They, they do this, this beautiful blend, oh. like our rolls. So this is the herb itself. It's very, if you can like smell it, it's, mm -hmm. you, can, you can smell the anise. There. Oh yeah, yeah yes. yes. Did you want to smell it? Sure, thanks. So it's really no, it's, present. Yes. Uh -huh. We just brush it with a bit of water and a bit of sugar, and then we dehydrate it like for three days. So then it gets like very crispy, like a oh, you know, uh -huh. really like a it's like a chip mm -hmm. made of of the herb. So we just put the herb on top. We feel it's beautiful. People can have the chance to watch the herb itself. Because it's, I think it's just the most beautiful thing. Do you crush it together? You crush, crush it. it. Just okay. Exactly. Like this. All right. Help you. I think that's the most beautiful thing, like to share uh -huh. a dish together. And then you people get some first. Let's do it. Because we say food is love, right? Well, enjoy. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> wow. We've seen a new wave of migration with young U.S. professionals moving to Mexico City and they embrace Mexican culture and Mexican people. Why do you think it's important to foster this deeper mutual understanding and true cultural competence between our countries? Well, I think that, um, you know, we are, since we are neighboring, we're one right next to each other. And I think, you know, we share a lot in culture and in morals and in values and I think uh, it's important, and so people see that, that this is vibrant, this city is vibrant, it has a lot of culture and arts, and of course food, <laughs> and so now this is a destination, a place to come and a place to be. Yeah, and it goes beyond stereotypes, which uh -huh. is also a good thing, both uh, stereotypes we have here in the U.S., uh, here in Mexico about the U.S. and uh, people in the U.S. about, about Mexico. Um, we are just hours away from uh, Claudia Sheinbaum uh, making history, becoming no. <laughs> the first female pre president, yes. not just in the history of Mexico, but North America. Uh -huh. um, how important is that milestone for women's rights and gender equality, again, not just here, but in the region? It's very important and it's very exciting because, you know, she's such a strong woman and I think she's such a great role model. and. And she's so qualified. I mean, she's a climate uh, scientist and uh, she's been a mayor, so she knows what she's doing. And I think uh, little girls look up to her and say, I can do that too. And so, you know, the first woman in the area to be president, who knows? Maybe others will follow. <laughs> yeah, maybe by the end of the year we'll have both a maybe. female president. Maybe. Yes, from the US. maybe. Perfect. La conversación completa la puede ver a través del de, de, espacio digital de N+, en n+.com.mx, también en VIC.